Tonight, concerns over equity over the process now growing louder here. Our KION's Alicia Machado has more on what Monterey County leaders had to say about the lack of access to appointments. Watching the digital divide in real time for our kids is now becoming a reality for our families in terms of getting access for seniors to the vaccine. To get a vaccine appointment, seniors will have to get online, and those appointments are going fast once they're live. A spokesperson for Montage Health tells us 1,020 appointments for the first of two clinics this week filled up in just 39 minutes. But concerns are growing over a lack of access to vaccines for residents who don't have access to the technology needed to make an appointment, something the Board of Supervisors acknowledged today. The access to a computer, the access to a, a, a device and the comfort with the technology, again, primarily in English to start to sign up, is something we're concerned about, but we, we hope to have some solutions for that rolling out here very soon. Until then, Montage Health recommends seniors connect with a friend, family member, or neighbor to assist them in gaining access. CVS announced today that they'll be administering vaccines at 100 locations across California, including Monterey and Carmel. It's unclear if other Central Coast locations will be included in the rollout, but some supervisors express frustration that some of the hardest hit areas, such as Salinas, weren't announced in the rollout. To address these equity issues, Supervisor Luis Alejo is suggesting doses be set aside for these areas. I don't see why there is a reason why we couldn't make a reservation system that gives a certain allotment to residents in those hardest hit areas either. But this won't be easy to overcome. Under the current state system, Moreno says people aren't restricted to their zip code. There are people who, as you mentioned, Supervisor, who can get on the website and may live uh, in perhaps on the peninsula and can find a, a vaccine clinic appointment in South County. Unfortunately, when it's an open pod like that, uh, that's, that's one of the, the struggles uh, that we have. Supervisor Lopez says he anticipates they'll need some kind of one-on-one -on -one assistance, such as phone-based assistance, to bridge the digital divide.